Japanese armors were designed durable to provide complete body protection during combat. At the same time, intricate construction allowed the person to move freely. This is a Japanese samurai armor from the Edo period. A great amount of detail went into the forging of the piece. Let's take a closer look at the important components. These are the sune ate, or the shin guards, made from lacquered iron plates and tied around the calf. The inner parts are usually made in leather or fabric to soften the pressure during horse riding. Hayadate, or thigh guards, wrap around the waist like an apron. They cover the legs, but also allow for unrestricted movement. This part is called the manchira, the inner layer of the cuirass. For arm protection, there is the kote, or sleeves, made of mail and iron plates. Thumbs and middle fingers need to be put through the cords to secure the sleeves. Elbows and wrists are covered in chainmail for ease of movement. Sode, the shoulder guards, are also made of iron plates and put together with these beautiful green and orange cords. Next, we put on this lacquered iron do, or cuirass, which safeguards the torso and vital organs. This one is decorated in gold lacquer with a seated rakan, or arhat, and a dragon on the front. The lacquered iron face mask is called Menpo. It is made to look scary to intimidate the enemy. The helmet, Mayadate, or the forecrest, drew attention to a warrior's bravery in battle. This round plate, called Gachirin, represents full moon, a symbol frequently used in Buddhist art. It represents the knowledge and virtue of Buddha. The helmet is heavy, as it is made of iron. The Japanese armor gives strength and mobility in a battle, while unique elements represent the owner's aesthetic and values. During the Edo period, Japan was a peaceful country, so the armor became a status symbol and was worn on special occasions. <laughs>